and hello and welcome to part number 28 of my let's play of Planet Zoo. Alright guys, so I've done a lot off camera because it was nighttime in game so I decided to just play through until it was daytime. And you might be wondering, what's with the new male lion? Well, our previous one, um, our previous male lion that we had, who had a name that made sense unlike this. <laughs> I have no idea what the heck this name is, so he's gonna be Shaka the second. In honor of Shaka the first. But anyway, so the previous male lion got to the age where he couldn't really breed anymore because all of the females were on birth control or were infertile because of their age. So I'm trading him away. Hopefully someone else can make use of him and enjoy him. And now we have a new male lion as the alpha. So everyone say welcome to Shaka the Second. Behold his majestic lion glory. Wow, he looks really cool in this shower of, like, yellow. <laughs> I love how he just licked his lips and he's just like, yes, this is my home now. This is my home. Whoa, my home is amazing! I can't get over how amazing my home is! My eyes, they closed, and now I'm staring! Staring deep, deep into your soul. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on. Okay, so... We've actually sold quite a few lions and other animals off-camera who aged up. So, let's see here. Shaka the second, my love. He has incredible genetics. The only thing that's slightly off is his immunity. And I think because of that is the reason why his rating is so good. Let's see. He is 1.2 meters tall at the shoulder. And he has so far not had anything happen to him. Because he just aged up into a little adult when he left his previous home. So now he gets to do his adult lion things in this zoo, which is very exciting indeed. And also I discovered that um, my male cheetah is also infertile, so I took care of that by adding in another male cheetah who will be coming into the habitat shortly. Let's see, where is he? He should be coming from quarantine, which is right over the, around that corner. So let's unpause. And let's wait for Chatta to arrive, because that's his name. His name is Chatta. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? A dangerous animal has not escaped, game. You're on drugs, game. Game, you are literally on drugs right now. Baby Chimp has not escaped. And even if he had, he's not dangerous because he's a baby. Aw, Chippo the Western Chimpanzee is expecting offspring. Awesome. But yeah, off camera too, we had some new babies born. As is the usual. Okay, so where is Chata? <laughs> I love it. A new animal. <laughs> West African lion has arrived. <laughs> That's what happens when you mix characters that are Asian with Latin characters in a game like this, and it gets completely confused and has no idea which way is up. Um, because that's exactly what happened there. Oh yeah, so I also expanded Lemurland a little bit because it bothered me that this space right here wasn't filled in. So I put in a new shelter and a new tree and added in a little more space for the lemurs, especially since their population is going up. Oh good, our new cheetah has arrived. Yay, Chata! Let's take a look at Chata. Hopefully he will breed with our female. Please breed with our female, Chata. You're such a good boy. Yeah, you can have at most three cheetahs. Chad's exotic BCR. Oh. Okay, that's not shady at all. But yeah, his genetics are pretty good, so his animal rating is pretty high, which is nice. 
Oh god, he got into three fights in his previous home. <laughs> oh dear. Staff are having a cue to use the vet surgery. That's not good. Let's see. Are you going to go and say hi to your new buddies? Oh, he is. Look at him. He's running. He's like, let me out of here. Hello, Chetta. How is Chetta today? Chetta is good. Chetta is very good. Oh my gosh, his little face. I just want to squish him and love him. Which would be an extremely terrible idea because he's a wild animal, so I'm not actually going to do that. Especially since he's a virtual wild animal. So that makes it even harder. But you know what I mean, dang it, he's adorable! Let's see, which cheetah is this? Is this the other male or is this the female? This is the other male, okay. Alright, girlfriend. Where are ya? There you are. So the boys have formed a little coalition over there, and hopefully this friend can manage to mate with the newcomer, because that would be really great. I really want her to get pregnant. That would be her second litter, because she had one litter before and then they aged up. But yeah, let's see. In this part, we're going to be milding... B milding? What? building the gorilla habitat as promised and before we start on that though i want to check on the mandrills and make sure they're doing well i'm like 90 percent sure they're doing good but i don't know okay yeah every one of them is in here it looks like why are you all hiding why are you all hiding wait there's one missing who's the one missing because that's the male and there's three of the females there's a fourth female somewhere around here Hopefully she's doing a dance for the guests or something. <laughs> kind of doubt it, but you never know. Where is she? I need more mandrills. Ooh, two of them are pregnant. Nice. Okay, you're one of the ones in there. Oh, you're right outside. I'm dumb. Okay, so they're all right over here. Okay, I can give them better food at least, though. So that's a nice thing. That is nice. Let's see if I can afford to get any more female mandrills while I'm thinking of it. Because there's just barely enough of them in there right now. Okay. And yes, I was looking at lions to figure out pricing for my own. Now, let's see here. Mandrill. Filter. A female from Frontier Zoo, so she's kind of iffy, but that's okay. Eshi. Aw, she's got a cute name. I like her. Why are you still showing up, Eshi? That's weird. Oh, yes! Look at my CC, guys. 7,053. I do believe one of my other animals just sold. Hopefully it was... Chisulu? Chisulo? Please, God. Yes! He finally sold! Thank goodness. And I have my backup lion for when current lion who just got added in there, Shaka 2, ages up into an elder. In the meanwhile, though, let's get this little lady over into quarantine. Where is the nearest quarantine? Right over here, it looks like. Perfect. Awesome! But yeah, we've got over 7,000 cc right now from all of the animals aging up and leaving the zoo! <laughs> Which is great! It's freaking great! But I have a problem. Because I want to build the gorilla habitat over here, but then how the heck are the guests going to actually see it? Because right now, as you'll notice, this is all staff path back here. But I want this to be the gorillas area. Because the gorillas are going to need a relatively large habitat. So I want to build them a nice big one. And while we're at it here, let's see, what size was this? 20, no. 
23 maybe? Yeah, this was 23 feet. Let's make this go around here. All the way. Let's make this go from there to there. And I will put decorations and stuff around the water thing so that it doesn't make the guests angry. Don't worry about that. Yes, Pearl, can you please get out of the lamp, cat? Pearl, honey. <laughs> Quit being such a weirdo! I mean, I know that's your favorite thing in the world is being a weirdo, but come on! Really? Let's see, that is the Bengal tigers right here. You know what, I don't know if we'll actually put in the gorillas this part. I think we just need to do some stuff off camera, or on camera rather, that is more of uh, along the lines of just building things. We'll see. We might put in the gorillas yet, who knows. Okay, that's perfect. So that back here, the staff can get to it easily. Let's see, let's turn this into staff path. Whoa, shrink that down. What the heck? Because that looks normal. Boy. Okay, get rid of those, because obviously we aren't going to need those on that side. Okay, so we have small animal exhibits here. And then right here, I'm just going to put in a nice palm tree and a shorter baby one and another one over here and one that's a leaning tower of palm tree. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, let's see here. What exhibit animals should we put in? Because usually I do the exhibit animal stuff off camera. Oopsie, I didn't mean to do it that way. I want to show by species. Let's see, let's get this off the list. What do we have here? I have one of those, I have 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 those. I have all of this stuff pretty much. I don't have them. I need some of these guys. I think these guys need to have more different, um, more friends. So let's see, let's put in, let's put in Diego because he's a good frog. This frog's okay, that frog is not very good. Miguel! Let's put in Miguel. Send to zoo. There we go. And Diego, you can go in there, buddy. Okay, so we have golden frogs now, golden poison frogs. Let's see. We don't have goliath frogs though. So let's get some goliath frogs. This can be our frog spot right over here. Oh yeah, this one's better. <laughs> froggers! Frogger, frogger, froggers. Here we go. Okay. Now, let's see here. Golden poison frog. Golden bison frog. Go. Not golden. What? Goliath frog. And Goliath frog. Oh, yeah, we have well over a million in funds now, which is nice. Okay. Let's see. I want to put some three or four star people on the new frogs so that we can have the five star people available for the bigger animal research. 
Wait, where did I- did I miss something? Okay, yeah, there it is. I did miss it. No one short like Gaston researches frogs like Gaston. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to. It was way too tempting, everybody. It was way too bloody tempting. Replace all the teens. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to pull up the staff. Work zones. We're over by the big cats over here. Because next in this area, I'm going to put in the jaguar. Because I was going to do a South American animal area. And I still might, to be honest with you all. But I'm not real sure. I'm really not sure right now. Let me know in the comments section down below what you want me to do, and I will definitely be sure to take that into consideration before I make my final decision as to what to do. Let's see now. In the meanwhile, let's put a dodo bird statue down here because we can make fun of the fact that they DIED! Poor, poor dodos. It's not their fault. They weren't actually stupid, for those who don't know, but they were not afraid of humans at all because they had no natural predators whatsoever, and because of that, they had no fear of anything. Which is the reason they were all murdered. They were super easy to kill because they weren't afraid of people at all. So, there was that. Do What's happening? There we go. No! Go over here, you stupid fence. No, what the? What is happening? Go over there. That's better. Sheesh. Let's edit this piece of barrier. Let's make it 13.2 tall. Oopsie. Or 13.12. Like that, that's perfect. Okay. And then this bit of fence gets to be the same height. Do, 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 do. Ah! This is very difficult to get exact. Oh my god. Good enough. <laughs> It's not quite there, but it's fine! Okay, hopefully this is not within the zone to make people annoyed now. Ah, crap, it still is. It's only 13% less. How is that working? I don't understand. I don't get it. Let's see if there's anything tiger related. Oh, there is. Nice. What's this? Uh, that's creepy as hell. Yikes. I'm not putting that in my zoo because I don't want to frighten away the little children. <laughs> oh my god. Let's put this near to the lion habitat, because obviously there would be lions over here. So I think this is the perfect spot to put these. Rawr. In honor of Shaka the First. <laughs> Rest in peace, buddy! Rest in peace! Okay. And then over here we're going to be putting in hyenas. So that the lions can't actually see them, but they will be able to hear them. I don't want them to be too close to the lions, because that would drive them nuts. Like, I didn't want them to be able to actually see them. That's why they're going to be over there. Over here, that is. Okay. 
let's check the path area here now. Okay, it goes around the tiger habitat. And there's still room for something to go over here. Hmm. Let's put in some sort of statue or something like that. Indian shrine, maybe? That could work. Indian temple. Well, that's pretty. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. And this one has, like, a cow in it, it looks like? That's kind of cool. There we go. Okay. Rawr! Can I add the tiger to this and make it look really stupid? No, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. What I want is palm trees now. Fucks too. Palm. Coconut palm. Baby coconut palm over there. More foxtail palm right here. This is fun actually showing you guys what I like what I usually do off camera. This is nice. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy watching this. This decorating of the zoo. Okay. Did that help at all? Barely. So if they're on this path, they'll be like, Ew, staff facilities. Yeah, like halfway through this path, they'll be mad. Okay. Hmm. Oops, didn't mean to do it that far. 23 feet. There we go. That looks good. Now it pretty much avoids the whole area where it makes guests annoyed. Let's double check that. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand on the screen so I can see. Oh yeah, we're good now. We're in the gold. We're in the clear now! Yay! You know, I just noticed that there's the hippo statue. I don't have that anywhere in the zoo, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in some nice hippo statues over here just cuz I'm going to have it position snap just so that I don't have to worry about it. I don't like that position snap, never mind. Rawr. There we go. They look terrifying. Jeez. I mean, I know that they kill more people than any other animal in Africa as far as, like, all the big ones and stuff. But! <laughs> Good God! They're scary! La 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 la! put that right there on the edge. There we go. Now we've got some pretty scenery over here that blocks off that area. Oh, <sighs> Okay. Saving the game! I'm sorry it's been like over 20 minutes and we haven't done anything habitat-wise, but like I said, I hope you're all cool with this. It needs to be done. And I felt like showing it for once in my life. <laughs> Now we need to decorate over here. Let's see, what lives in here? My puff adders! I discovered I had two puff adder exhibits, so I added in my elderly lone puff adder to these two so that she's not lonely anymore. Uh, I don't think she actually cared about being lonely or anything like that. 
but now she's not lonely no matter what, so yay. Lots of trees, lots and lots and lots of palm trees. Let's put in another coconut palm up here. There we go. Now it looks lush as heck over there, which is nice. I like it. Okay, so this is the bear's habitat over here. And then way over here we have the orangutans and the chimpanzees and then the mandrills. So let's see now. In order to keep with the theme of having all the great apes in one spot, first of all, let's pop this random balloon. Pap. I killed it. I killed it dead. Because I'm a bad person. Just kidding. I'm the best. Uh -huh. Aw, we didn't get a great review this time. Dang it. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to put the gorilla habitat over here and see if that's going to be big enough. And if not, then we'll figure out something. Two hours later. Okay, guys, I have finally finished the gorilla area. Holy crap, that took absolutely forever. So I definitely sped that up and might have cut out some bits of it. I'm not really sure. You all will know for sure, though, because I haven't edited this yet at the time I'm saying this, but I will have edited, edited it by the time you see it. Anyway, we got our education rating up to five stars, which is fabulous, and now we need to get our gorillas into their habitat. So let's unpause the game so that they can finish with their quarantine. I absolutely love the way their habitat looks. I think it looks so lush and tropical, it's kind of ridiculous. Which facility's without power now? A freaking course. Ugh. Okay, well, fine. Be that way. I guess I'll just have to fix it with one of these numbers. There. Now, before you whine at me, game. I'm going to make it so that you can get to there. You being the staff, that is. There we go. Okay. Now there's a million viewing areas and a bunch of exhibit signs and stuff like that. So it should be really easy to find information about the gorillas if you are a guest, which is great. Okay, what's this? You've learned more about the orangutans. Excellent, excellent, yes, precious, yes. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, and then we'll be able to have other species going out this way. And the South American animals will be able to go over here for sure now, which is great. Okay, we have this one, this yellow anaconda, has had offspring. Uh-oh. She's not happy. That's why I came to check. I was afraid that might happen. Let's see. Who all's in here? Antonio? What are you doing here? <laughs> For those who are not aware, which is probably all of you, Antonio is the name of my boyfriend. <laughs> so seeing that in there is like, his name in there is like, what? It's kind of freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, which one of you is better? No, I want to look at Juan. Oh, they're equal. Okay. Goodbye, Juan. You get to leave now. Okay, let's have this search for any species, because that is what it needs to do for now. Quarantine is full, staff are queuing. Well, that's lame and annoying. Okay, let's take a look at the zoo from above. This is what we have so far, guys. This is the great ape area. This is the big cats area right here. There's lemur land. The African wild dogs, 
uh, tortoises, the peafowl, the elephants. I feel like the elephants are going to need to have a bigger enclosure soon. Like, I feel like their habitat is not big enough. Which, technically, it is big enough, because they're not complaining about it. But they're elephants, for crying out loud. They're supposed to be able to go all over the place. Hmm. 51,021 feet squared, huh? No! A springbok died! Oh! Oh, and she's pregnant! No! God, I hate when that happens. Boo! And she's a five star! No! <laughs> no! You are not allowed to die. Nima, yes, make babies, please. Make baby lions. But why? Why did you die while pregnant? Oh, that's depressing. Please mate successfully, dear. Aww, she likes Shaka too. She likes Shaka the second. Shaka the second is huge, jeez. Jeez, he's big. He's so freaking big. Please get pregnant, Nima. Are you pregnant? Please be pregnant, please be pregnant, please, 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 but he's a hundred. Okay, I'm going to pause this so that the darkness does not descend upon us too intensely. But yeah, see, his size is at 100%. So he is really good. Yes, that's the first one he's mated with is Nima. Wonderful, wonderful. Good, good, good. Shaka! Shaka do looks very happy! Yamina has aged up, and she's a reticulated giraffe. Okay. How many are in her herd? Oh, five. Is the only male... Is he the only male? No, we'll have other males once the other ones age up, so that's fine. I think he might be the only adult male, though. Let me double check this. Oh, he's pretty old. Um... He's small for a giraffe, interestingly. Huh. But yeah, I'm not going to put birth control on her just yet until I know for sure that he's the only adult male. So let's double check that, shall we? I vote yes. Articulated giraffe. Okay, Olafemi. Yeah, he's the only male, so she does actually need birth control. Okay, let's go over here, give you contraceptives for now so that you don't have your father's children like a nasty creature. Okay, now let's go over here. Oh no, the darkness! Crap. Oh well. Hello darkness, my old friend. Why must you descend again? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Can I now please cry? Wait, what's happening? I clicked on a notification about a freaking spider and then it brings me up with this antelope? This, not antelope, what? This gazelle? Oh no, wait, is she dying? Oh no, she's about to mate. Phew! Okay, I got nervous there. I got really nervous. Okay, your parents aren't here because they're dead. Right, okay, that works. Make cute little babies and for the love of God, don't end up like this one! Don't die while pregnant! That is not acceptable behavior! <laughs> like she could help it, but you know! Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your social health is not doing so well. 
Oh yeah, I'm depressed because Taquito died off camera. <laughs> Taquito the frog. Yeah, he died. <laughs> and I will cry because he died. And the frogs are upset. Adriana, you can go. Adriana number two. You're a young adult, you can stay. Uh, Barbara. With an accent mark to make it fancy. Not really, but you know. That's what it feels like sometimes. Uh, Raquel. Hey, she's old. I'm gonna let her stay then. That way she can live out her final days here. And you were just born. And who else was just born? Probably Camilla. Probably Camilla. Yep, Camilla. Alright, how many froggies do we have now? Six froggies and one elderly froggy is pregnant. I think Amelia was one of the first ones born here. Yeah, she was. Uh-oh. DEATH! Yeah, she's, she was born here. So all the froggies that are in there were born here now. Alejandro! I love how popular that name is among the animals. That's great. Let's get rid of you. Oh, you're a good spider. Never mind, you can stay. Uh, what about Elena? Is Elena a good spider? Elena's a very good spider. So Elena gets to stay. Congratulations, Elena. What about you? Are you a good spider? Nope, you're not a good spider. You need to go. Bye! <laughs> Okay, you guys all get to go quick traded. Adios, mis amigos. What happened? Oh, I bred exhibit species. Yay! Now, what's this? It wants me to release four chimps to the wild. I don't want to do that. Go away. I don't want to do that! Don't make me! Now we've got to get these gorillas into their habitat. Let's see, is this the mandrills over here? Yeah, it is. Call the keeper! Adriana the red-eyed tree frog just had more offspring, so it's a good thing that we got some of them out of there. Let's see, can I give them better food yet? No. They have a baby! I forgot about that. Let's see their baby. Oh good, it's a girl, so she can stay. She's a little baby. She's a little baby mandrill. She doesn't have the weird blue on her face yet. She just looks like an average baboon. Okay, we have a black wildebeest that just matured. Ooh, it's a male. It's a little male. Let's see, what are his statistics? Eh. They're okay, I guess. Let's release you to the wild, buddy. Good luck in the wild! Okay, Eshi is done in quarantine now. Good. Let's- I just paused the game to make it run faster. Go in mandrills! Go in there, Ma Eshi! And then Oswad, Akanke, and Norbes? Norbese? I'm really, really sorry if I completely butchered those. I don't know how to say them for sure. It's just a guess. It is truly just a guess. Hey all! Aw, it wouldn't let me greet more and get more points. Dang it. I tried. I tried. Ooh, did a gorilla just pass quarantine? Yes, my male gorilla just passed quarantine. Good. Let's wait for the ladies to pass quarantine as well. And let's double check the store. Well, the trade center, rather. Holy moly, why was it so big? Jeez. What are these prices? They're so expensive. God, why? Why are you so expensive? You're not worth it. 
No offense, but you are not worth 9,000. Neither are you. And you, you, you need help. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I think we should be happy with just three. Okay, good. They passed quarantine. Excellent. Let's get them in gorilla land. Western lowland gorillas. Let's see. Where is the entrance to that habitat? It's back here. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go down here into the shelter area where they're going to first appear. And see what they look like when they first come in. Come on, camera. Do what I want. There we go. Okay. Let's speed up the game. Oh no! Wait. A pea fowl's about to croak. Hang on, we have to be with her as she dies. Peacock! No! Or peahen, rather, sorry. Wrong gender. Hello, peahen. You are a good peahen. I'm pretty sure you've given me lots of babies. Let's double check that. Let's see how old you are, too. Oh, wow! She's 31 years old. She's very old. She's almost 32. She's unhappy with the plant situation. Well, she can, she can just deal. Oh. Wow, she's had all the children. She's had five children. Two of which have been released to the wild. And her genetics are pretty good, except for her longevity. Apparently. No! Oh god, why is her head, like, backwards? Is that normal? Diva? Divya? Divya? Are you going to pass away now and make me sad? Ooh, one of the mandrills had a baby. Oh no! Ooh. Oh god, she fell in the water. She is dead and fell in the water! Oh god! This is terrifying! <laughs> That's not normal. Speaking of not normal, what is happening over here? Why? It looks like there's two of them. But there's one of them. Like, it looks like there's one of them, but there's two of them, and oh god, why? Oh, why? One of the green iguanas just made a baby. That's awesome. Uh, Mishka? Divya, no. Poor Divya. She looks so disturbing. I've <laughs> stopped staring at her now. Ah! Oh good, Eshi arrived. And the flamingos are breeding. Nia, the aardvark, is pregnant again. Let's make sure that the social health of these beautiful iguanas is good. Nope, not good. Okay, let's fix it. Okay, I definitely know you're the new one, because I don't remember your name at all. Yep, you were the new one. Goodbye. They really blend in. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of you. Goodbye. Have fun in a new zoo, buddy. Okay. Okay, there's diseased animals. Eshi just arrived. Flamingo, Juanita, just had offspring. Her social health is good. It's not great though. Let's double check this here and see who she made it with. She made it with Arturo. Okay. Oh my. Uh. Let's get rid of you. So I'm pretty sure you're the new one. You're not the new one. Oops. What about... You. Are you the new one? You're new enough. You can go away now. 
Quick trade. She's not fertile, but she has extreme longevity, so she can go away. Bye bye. Okay, cool. Now let's see. The gorillas are over here. And they still haven't made it into their new habitat yet because I didn't get the notification. Hey, is that the sun coming back? I'm sorry, what? I'm confused. Or is that it's still leaving? I don't know. But they should be coming in this gate any moment now, guys. And the Brazilian wandering spider just had more offspring. Of course. Come on, where's the gorillas? Ooh, the guest happiness is at four and a half. <gasps> yes, 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 precious, yes! Sylvia, the layman's poison frog, is at offspring. Okay. Boom. Goes the gorilla. Hey, beautiful. You look small. Is she small or am I insane? Yeah, she's actually a little bit small, and her immunity's not great, but her longevity and fertility are good. Okay. Is she lonely? Yeah, she's lonely. She doesn't want to be the only one. I hope that three or four of them will be good, because I don't think I can get another female. I'm gonna try if they need it, but I don't know. There's the male! Hey, buddy. And the other female is coming. Hopefully they'll be happy. Please tell me they'll be happy in there. Did Sylvia just have offspring again, or is it giving me the same notification twice? I don't know. Now, who died? <gasps> no! Not Siki! No! I'm going to cry now. I love Siki. Siki! Siki, no! Siki! <laughs> Why? No! No! I love you, Siki. Rest in peace, little one. <laughs> okay, that's extremely depressing. Okay, you matured. That's a good thing. Let's get you out of the zoo. Oh no, you're hurt? Uh-oh. Why are you hurt? Did you get in a fight? Did you fight? You got in a fight. Of course. <laughs> Let's put you in the wild. Let's assume that they fixed him up first. Because, good god, it would be horrible to put an injured animal out in the wild like that. That would be so cruel. Oi. But yeah. Let's just say they fixed him, because I'm sure they did. Ooh. Okay, three is just enough. Okay, good. Great. Um, can you not glitch through each other and give me nightmares, please? <laughs> please? Oh my god. Ooh! There are two female gorillas. Let's pause the game really quick. Let's see, this one's from Frontier. So's this one. Kibibi is pretty good. Let's grab her. Success! And you are a gold star one. I am grabbing you. Ha! I don't care that that put me at a very awkward number of CC. Let's put our new male or female gorilla in, I'm sorry. Let's grab her. Put her in there. Where's the nearest quarantine spot? There it is. Come on, let me put her in quarantine already. There we go. Alrighty. That is exciting. Hmm. So when our current male passes away, we'll put this guy in there. Because I want to let my current male do his thing. 
Although it might be more prudent to put him on the market. The one I just put in there. Let's take a look and see and figure out what we want to do really quick. Because I want to have the best genetics possible for my gorillas. I think I just clicked on the mail because he's glitching through her. Aswad. His immunity, fertility, and size are not very good, but his longevity is okay. Hmm. Let's see. How much could I get from releasing him to the wild? 344. Let's put him in the trade center. Because my other one is so much better. <laughs> he has such better genetics. I feel bad. I feel like I just brought him here to just tell him, nope, you gotta go. Bye-bye. <laughs> but I didn't think I'd be able to get such a nice male gorilla. I got real lucky. I got really freaking lucky. Okay. Yeah, because he's got 100% immunity, 83% size, 42% longevity, which isn't as good as Aswad. And his fertility's okay. But he's gold-ranked, people. He's gold-ranked! So hopefully that means he can make some gold-ranked babies! Will you go in there already? Go in there. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, Aswad. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm a traitor. I feel like a traitor! I'm sorry! Not really. Oops. Oh well. Ooh, the flamingo just grew up so I need to pause the game really fast and deal with that situation. Okay. Let's make sure every single animal we're not going to use for this zoo or another one later on has been sold. Or is up for sale. Oswald. Poor buddy. I'm sorry. Can I get 700 for you? I doubt it, but we'll try. Unable to trade an animal adopted directly from the Frontier Zoo. Trade. Dang it! No! Oh. Uh... Welp! This sucks. I didn't know I where I got him from. I didn't know I where I got him from. What? Fine, he can go in the wild. Get me back up to 6,000. <laughs> oh well, his lot in life actually improved, because now he'll be able to get a troop of his own out in the wild. So see, I'm not a traitor. Honestly! Really, I'm not! Ooh, a baby Komodo dragon is about to mature. Nido. Aw, hi baby. You're adorable. I love Komodo dragons. Okay, there can be at most two adults, so he's gonna have to go. As soon as he ages up. But, yeah, now that we've got the gorilla situation sorted and I managed to snag a really good male, I am going to be ending this one here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you all in the next one. Oh, hallelujah! Our lions are getting pregnant with the new male. Hallelujah! Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. All the baby lions need to be born. Huzzah! But anyway, I will see you all on the end screen. Bye, guys. Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Ray Lunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 